Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our party hat. It's a freebie actually and it's very simple. It's two pieces. As you can see here, uh, I've got the main part of the hat here. I do have some rhinestones because we're going we're gonna to add some bling to it. You don't have to, especially if you're mass producing this and you're short on time. Uh, we've got this piece. Uh, obviously you can see here that I used the solid scoreline version of this just to make it look nicer, which I like to do on cards envelopes and um, mostly cards and envelopes. I don't like to use the solid scores on uh, our dimensional projects because they the fold lines don't fold very well. You can see it. This is folding okay, but um, definitely pick and choose when you use it. Uh, okay, so anyway, I've got everything folded. This one, this wonky looking one here is actually a tab and we're going to take that and glue it to the back side of its neighbor. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And you know what, and actually, if you are mass producing these for like a party, I think, and I, I wouldn't be against it because they're pretty much like this is a pretty disposable sort of thing. I don't think anyone really keeps party hats, um, but you could definitely use a little tape gun just to make life easier and make things quicker. So that is definitely an option. I'm actually going to put this down flat because this is a symmetrical piece. So I can take the other end and just lay it right on there. It should fit perfectly. Okay. So that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Now, if you want to simplify it even more, because again, let's say you've got a, you got a, a party of, you know, 20 kids or whoever it is, you can actually use this for, uh, for New Year's too, I guess. Um, you could totally just leave off this piece as well. I think it's nice and I'm going to do it since it was designed that way. But again, uh, it's an option for you to save you some time. Okay. So that's that. Now what we need to do is, well, you need to put this piece on. The only thing you need to pay attention to here is the fact that we do have some little holes for where the, uh, you know, the elastic band is going to go. So we just need to make sure that we match those up with the holes that are on here. Okay. So they both have holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with that section. Okay. I'm going to put glue on just this area here. Okay. Go easy with the glue here. I think I may have expanded my glue bottles nozzle while cleaning it out. And it's really pushing out a lot of, a lot of glue. So just line that up with the little hole there. It should be nice and flush at the bottom and then go ahead and fold it over just to make sure that it matches up with these, with these score marks or these scored areas. Okay. Just like that. Definitely use your finger to make sure that it's nice and flush there. And we have one section in place. Now you'll notice that on one end, we do have a little tab. So you want to make sure that we glue this end down first because the other end is going to go on top of that tab just to kind of make it more seamless. Okay. And you're more than welcome to do a few sections at a time, just one section at a time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do as many sections as I can get done before I notice my glue starting to dry on the first section I put glue down on. So that would be three of them in this case probably because I'm doing a lot of blabbing and not really focusing on getting it done, but there you go. Okay. Again, make sure that it's nice and flush there and then we'll pull this back. We'll get this one in place and I'm going to throw a little bit of glue on that tab there as well. So we can get that glued down. Okay. And I'm going to spread that glue out to the edge of the tab. And we'll pop that down. As you can see here, this one should match up with the other hole. Mine's pretty much spot on. If yours is slightly off, not a big deal. You can always kind of um, poke in there to make it a little bit bigger. If for some reason you can't, uh, you know, you can't get the, the elastic through or what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take some tweezers and just make that hole a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. So all that's left to do here now is put these three sections in place. Now for the top of the hat, 
while I do this. Uh, actually, you can see here, that's about an inch and a half in diameter uh, styrofoam ball that I just painted with some red acrylic paint. And then I sprinkled, while the paint was wet, sprinkled some glitter on it so that it just kind of dried on there. Didn't have to, you know, do anything extra to get it to stick. And I think that would be nice. I'm gonna get my hot glue gun fired up here and ready to go. I got this really cool cordless one. Come on, turn on. There it goes. And let's just put the remaining three sections in place. And you'll notice this last one is gonna go right on top of that little tab that was there that we put glue on. And that just makes it look nice and seamless. Now this paper I'm using, uh, it's like a, a pearlescent. Actually, it's more glittery. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Uh, cardstock, and it's a lot heavier than the typical cardstock. But I think that looks great. And obviously, uh, as far as the elastic goes, probably measure a child's head, figure out just how much you might need. Uh, I'm going to go about 11 inches, and I'll do maybe an extra four inches for good measure since we need to poke it through and tie it off on the inside. Okay. So I think, uh, I, th I think it would look nicer if the, if the elastic is coming out from the outside and the knot is on the inside. So I'm pretty sure if we just do a single knot, depending on the diameter of your Elastic, that is, or whatever it is you decide to poke through here. Just tie it off on the inside, and I'm pretty sure that's how a standard party hat works anyway. So you can see it grabs, won't come through, and I'll trim off the excess there since I'm going to be photoing this and I want it to look nice. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just poke it through and tie it off. And then we just need to put our little um, little ball on top. If you don't want to, if you don't want to paint styrofoam balls, maybe there's something else in your crafty stash that you can use as a topper. I know you guys have. I'm sure you got something in that craft room that you can put in there. Okay, there we go. Um, am I going to put it on? Maybe. We'll see. I might just have to test it out. There we go, just like that. And as far as the ball goes, um, I actually put it on a stick. Or it's like a little dowel while I painted it and while I put the, uh, the glitter on it. Come on, turn on. And there we go. I'm gonna pop that right on there with a little bit of hot glue. And I think that's gonna do it. So let's let's get that going. I might as well just put this silly thing on so you guys can poke fun at me in the group. Did you see Leo wearing a party hat? What's he doing? Yeah, we don't, no parties going on, just uh, not here anyway. Gabby's birthday isn't until August. Gavin's is in January, so. I'm just putting a nice ring of hot glue right along the very top. And I'll find that little hole that I made and use that as the bottom bottom. And just press that down. Shouldn't take long since it's hot glue. And I guess I'm gonna put it on down. I don't wanna mess up my hair. Mm. Okay, anyway, uh, probably will look more fun on a child's head, even though I'm sure you guys got a kick out of that. So that's pretty much it. Um, these little scalped areas here, they're already cut out. So whatever color uh, is you know underneath it, as far as your main pattern will show through. If you want, you can absolutely make it super blingy by adding some pearls or some rhinestones or whatever. But honestly, I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Um, so definitely a cool little piece, very quick and um, perfect because you can customize it using whatever colors or patterns you want that are appropriate for whatever party you're planning. Um, 
probably would be really cool too with some of those pattern papers that have um, you know various characters on them. Um, I mean, Disney's the first one that comes to mind, obviously, uh, but I'm sure there are others. So either way, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please visit us on our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Also ring that bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. Uh, it'll also let you know when we go live, which we've been doing more of, uh, kind of um, calm down on it a little bit since the website upgrade, because there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. But and uh, also, if you'd make this or anything from our kids um, card bundle that we just released, I would love to see it. And so would the rest of our community. So head over to your uh, Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, or you can type in this little URL that you see here at the bottom of your screen. So happy birthday to whoever uh, is having a birthday. And I, I want to see a picture of you guys wearing these hats too. Uh, but either way, uh, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.